Quashka was released as the new gun for this season. And of course, in typical Ferb fashion, I tried going from rookie to legendary with only that sniper. But first, I had to go through ranking up to level 10, buying the battle pass, and then of course, unlocking the Koshka. I'd just like to say here and now that this weapon looks trash. Similar to my skill level with it. Because when I started this, it was horrible. We're talking bottom of the proverbial barrel. Dying to literal bots. No way. While using what I no. thought was an awful no. sniper at the time. I opted for this loadout, but as time went on, I was sure to change it as I unlocked more attachments. Getting into the veteran league, things kind of picked up just a little bit. I mean, I was still dying to bots, but at least I was getting cool clips like this one. And by the time I hit elite, I decided to add in a search and destroy to the rotation, hoping I wouldn't get banned like last time. Well, I've just been banned. It proved to be a great mode, however, as let's just say this quickly turned from being a gun I didn't want to use into a weapon I could abuse. Oh, you want to see an ace? Easy peasy. What about a clutch? How about a quick 10 second montage? The start of this journey was looking good as I bust my way into Pro League. Switching between Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy to avoid COD Mobile's ploy of taking me down with these, I was having the time of my life. Of course, there were times when I missed an incredible amount of shots and also super embarrassing moments. Oh my God, dude. None, however, were as bad as this. Oh my f Yep, I did break my headset. I've had that one for four years. And it is now gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> it was the last one I had, so I went on a car journey to get new ones. And then went back on the grind. By this stage, I'd realized that domination and hardpoint were pretty much 50-50. On whether I do great or whether I go against red man over here that makes everyone hate their lives. Nope. You're a f***ing loser. No! Teammate, what the f*** are you doing? Oh my god. Holy s***! So after some time, I decided it was best to simply just remove those modes when hitting master rank as one wanted to protect their mental sanity. Sanity is a word for having a healthy state of mind. People with sanity don't have any loose marbles. It basically means they're not crazy. And playing the respawns nowadays makes me crazy. You're so f dog Bro, you're so bad! <laughs> so back to search and destroy and team deathmatch I went. One of my favorite things to do while playing on alternate accounts where people don't know that it's me because they have never seen the name before is talk trash. Because of course, players automatically assume that I'm just a random master player or grandmaster ranked player. So they'll commonly say things like, 1v1 me, bro. Oh, you think you're good? Watch this, bro. I haven't even warmed up. 1v1, man. To which I usually reply, why would I 1v1 someone who's bad? And this usually usually sets them off into a spiral, calling me all sorts of names and often makes me laugh quite hysterically. With a couple of insanely tense moments. I'm nasty. Oh my God. Oh! I made it to Grandmaster. And this time I wasn't banned. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. I made it to this rank without getting banned for the first time in over four or five months. I think the reason is because I was kind of goofing off with the sniper. I mean, I started out this challenge really caring about my kill death ratio and win streak. And then as time progressed, I just kind of let that go. Started playing less slow and just going with the flow. By this stage, I'd realized that the Koshka was actually a very good sniper rifle. Especially when you use the tactical scope. Yep, I know. You have seen me using the scope throughout the video, but I thought I'd call it out right here. Ladies and gentlemen, the tactical scope movement is back. It made this particular rifle feel so good. And I, for one, definitely recommend trying it out. Pushing up the GM ranks, I started to get more kills than my team combined. 
and also the enemy team combined. Pushing up faster than ever before, I could feel it, see it, and taste that legendary rank. Then on Crossfire, up until the last round, I had more kills in my team and the opposing team combined. Yep, they didn't even reach what me, myself, and I had with the Koshka. It reminded me of a mix between the SVD and the DLQ. One thing is for certain, however, you should use this loadout when testing thy glorious gun. In fact, the only unfortunate event I had after headset smashing was the fact I left my recording on after I got legendary and lost the footage of the last match. I guess I gotta pay attention better in the future. Either way, I finished this challenge with a 60% accuracy. And I guess the KD is a little bit lackluster, but 60% accuracy. I challenge you guys to beat it.